Welcome to Wisdom Wednesday, y'all. This is an in-between episode, and it's just a little musing about something from my upcoming book, The Alchemy of Yoga. You'll hear a little bit more about that in just a second. This is sponsored by the 2017 Desire Map Journal. I got two planners this year. I got the Passion Planner and I got the Desire Map Journal. And I did that because I wanted to use one for my business and one for my personal life, something that I could have some accountability on the daily self-care stuff that I really wanted to focus on that would get me closer to my core desired feelings, which are congruent, connected, orgasmic, and I've added playful and ease to those. And what I found was that I use my desire map even more than I use my professional planner. This thing has really made a difference in my life. I love the way it's laid out. It's beautiful. It is something that adds accountability for my personal life, something that I've really needed for a very, very long time. I can really see a difference in my life. So I want you guys to go get it now because these things sell out. And you can get that at http colon forward slash forward slash bit bit dot l y forward slash two lowercase b z capital w lowercase f u capital r. And that is in the show notes. So check it out. It will also be on the show note page infinite love and gratitude, and check this out. Hey guys, it's Wendy from Whole Bean Inc. And I am fast and furious working on the deadline for being able to launch my new book, The Alchemy of Yoga, Living Yoga Off the Mat. I am really, really excited about this. And Part of the marketing of it is is being able to pull quotes from the book and being able to share that with you guys, and you'll be able to see those soon. But I had asked a lot of friends to help me with this process and to read the book and to highlight the things that really touch them. And reading one of those quotes today really touched me deeply, and I'll explain why in just a second. The quote is, when we surrender the need to be the best, or even as good as someone else, we can simply be ourselves, which is always enough. And that quote for me, on the mat, translates as, I can see other people around me whose bodies may be more flexible, they may be stronger, and my eagle will have this desire to really try to match them or beat them, even me. I've been working on this for a long time, but it still happens. And off of the mat, I can see people who are more successful, and maybe they are in a place where I'm wishing that I could be, but I don't know what they've gone through, and I don't know what success is defined as for them, and the way that they got there may not be the way that feels authentic or nurturing or honoring even to me. And so if I'm willing to take a step back, whether that's on the mat or off, and breathe into where I am in that moment and to say, what feels good to me? And connect into how my heart desires to feel, which for me is connected and congruent, ease, playful, orgasmic then I can look at if I'm trying to push into something from an ego place or if I'm trying to move forward authentically with that desire that's in my heart. So I want to read the quote one more time to you. When we surrender the need to be the best or even as good as someone else, we can simply be ourselves, which is always enough. 
I'd love to hear what you think about this and, and where you struggle with that being enough or trying to be the best and trying to compete against other people. Share a comment with me. I'd love to hear from you. Infinite love and gratitude. Oh, and the book is coming out September 13th, so be on the lookout.